Okay, this is a quick video to kind of show you how um, how iMovie in the guest account works. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to insert your flash drive. Well, open up iMovie. First of all, and it should come up and should have no clips in there, kind of whatever. And if you insert your flash drive, what you should see when you do so is that it should pop up under the events library. Now, if it's formatted properly, it'll pop up underneath the computer or the flash drive. This is my flash drive. I've called it iMovie. You can see it has a project in it. If it is not formatted, and you can see the events are here, okay, and I've recorded some events on there. Now when I insert a non-decent flash drive, you will see that it does not indeed show up. Okay, If it's one that is not going to work, it will not show up and you won't be able to see it. So in order to fix that, you need to go quickly to Launchpad and you need to go into the Utilities. There will be a thing called Utilities and you'll pick out the disk utility. Now, this will bring up a list of all the hard drives. And to first set up your flash drive, you click the one that isn't. If And this one is says iMovie, so that's the one we have right there. Same as over here. This one we do not have, so we need to go to Erase. And we actually need to make it a Mac partition um, so that it can be read by Macintosh, and we'll call this iMove V2. Okay and then we'll make that an iMovie 2 partition, erase it, sure. Now one thing to be careful of when it does do this, it does erase everything on the flash drive. Okay, so you definitely, if you're a Windows user at home, um, you need to have two flash drives. If you're an OS user, Microsoft or Macintosh, this will work. Throw your files onto the desktop real quick, format your drive, and then copy them back over. Okay, but now that you'll see, we also now have two iMovie ones. And it's actually pretty simple to work if you were working on your computer and you wanted this project over onto this drive, you would just drag it and certainly it would show up there. And um, the events window will also show your drives. So you can see there's a boot camp drive it can't log on to, but the iMovie too. And of course, you can drag your movies in there. And of course, it'll copy over your events, movies, everything. It's all now on a flash drive. You can work with it straight from there. You don't need to do anything special. And this way, you can still keep the guest account, not mess anything up on the computer. So they're that way every time for everybody. And um, I have two flash drives here that you can use. Um, just come see me, and I will get those. So that's how you use iMovie underneath the guest account without losing all your data. And this is actually a pretty similar way to do it with all uh, Apple applications. So there you go.